What's good, my fellow GeoGeeks and MetaMappers? Spatial Ninja here, bringing you this next episode of MetaMapping. Today, I wanted to walk you through how you can query an existing feature layer and use that data inside of Survey123. Now, if you're not familiar with ArcGIS Survey123, it's a smart form application that allows you to create and collect data and bring that directly into your GIS. Now, there are two different ways that you can configure these smart forms. One is using a web designer, and the second is using a desktop-based application called Survey123 Connect. So what I wanna do is show you two different ways that you can pull data from a feature layer into your surveys. The first using the web designer, and the second using Survey123 Connect. So let's jump into our web designer. Now, as that new survey is being created, let's jump over to the Survey123 help documentation. Now to grab data from a feature layer and bring it into our survey, we're going to use the calculations capability where you can calculate the answer to a question either using other questions in your survey, survey properties, or even an existing feature layer. So in this help documentation, it walks you through how to extract data from an existing layer into one of your fields. So let's take a look at how to do this. So here we have our blank survey. And the first thing we want to do is add a new text question. And this text question is going to be called serviceable locations. So we want to automatically populate this field based on a user's location intersecting an existing GIS data set. So to do this, we'll come down to our calculated expression here and we'll edit this. And we want to extract data from an existing layer. Now we select the layer that we want to leverage. We can use a feature layer from our ArcGIS online or portal, or we can use data from the ArcGIS living atlas. So in this example, I'm going to, so in this example, I'm going to use the FCC broadband data collection data set. So we've selected our layer, then we need to choose our sub layer, which will be this H3 resolution eight hexagon bin layer. And then the field inside of this feature layer that we want to bring inside of our form, which is going to be the total broadband serviceable locations. So now based on a user's location, intersecting this H3 resolution eight hexagon bin, whatever the total broadband serviceable locations inside of that feature, we want to bring and populate into our form. But we'll notice that we can't set a filter based on a user's location. And that's because we don't have a map question in our form yet. So let's come back to our form builder and select a new map question. And we'll add that to our form here. And we'll call this map. So now that we've got that added in, we'll select our serviceable locations question go edit our calculation, and now we have the option to extract data by location and choose our map question. We'll hit OK and then preview what this form looks like. All right, so here's the preview of our form. And if we come in and select a location on the map, we then have the total number of serviceable locations automatically populated in. And as we add our pin to a new location on our map, our field is automatically updated with the total serviceable locations. So this is the first way that you can pull data into your smart forms from an existing feature layer. Now, the second way to do this is by setting it up in Survey123 Connect, which is the second option for configuring your smart forms. Now to do this, it's a slightly different process than in the web designer. So what we wanna do is we wanna query a feature layer, and to do this, we'll use the pull data at layer function in order to query that layer or table. 
And specifically, we're going to use this calculation string down here, which will allow us to pull data from an existing layer and grab the value from a specific feature layer or service URL based on a user's location. And then we can even set a filter on that feature layer if we wanted to. So let's now get into Survey123 Connect and show how this is set up. Okay, so on the left hand side, we've got Survey123 Connect and on the right hand side, we have our XLS form. So what we wanna do is we wanna automatically populate these fields with information based off of a user's input location. So for example here, we have the floor plan for a building and we want to uh, grab information from this floor plan and then populate that data into our location detail fields. So now our building, our floor, the room, the aisle, and the bay have all been populated into these fields based on this location and intersecting with that feature layer. So back inside of our XLS form, let's take a look at how we set this up. Here are our five fields that we wanna populate information into. Underneath the calculation column, here we have our pull data function. So let's walk through this. We wanna pull data from at layer and get value at, then we choose the attribute or attributes we wanna pull data from. So for this field, we wanna pull from the building attribute. Next, we populate in that URL of our feature layer. So here is that feature service. Then we choose the location field. So here is the location input field. So we'll grab the user's location from this field. And we also want to set a filter. Now this is optional. You don't have to set a filter here, but we do want to set a filter for uh, this particular site name, which is CO2. So just like that, we can copy paste to these existing, uh, to these other fields, and then just change the attributes from that data set that we want to pull into this field. So we can pull in the floor, the room, the aisle, and the bay. Now there's all sorts of really cool capabilities that you can build into your smart forms using this pull data function and this calculation column, whether you're in Survey123 Connect or you're in the web designer. But I wanna show you two ways that you can grab data from an existing feature layer and populate that. So I hope you all enjoyed this content. If you did, it would be great if you could give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to follow us on all socials. Thanks again for watching. And as always, stay mappy, my friends.